Hello, my name is Zoe Harkham and I'm author of The Harkham Diet. I want to do three VTs now, talking about the three medical conditions that cause insatiable food cravings. And this video clip is all about Candida. Candida is a yeast that lives inside all of us, absolutely all of us. If it stays in control, it will cause you no problems whatsoever. But it's when it gets out of control that it can wreak havoc in your body and create the most unimaginable symptoms, one of which is insatiable food cravings. If you are suffering from an overgrowth of Candida, you will not be able to stick to a diet until you've got rid of this overgrowth in your body. It really is as critical as that. So today we're going to go through what is Candida? How did you get an overgrowth of it if that's what's happened? How can you get rid of it? And how can you make sure it doesn't come back again? Now the main causes of Candida are first of all a weakened immune system. If you've been ill over any period of time, if you've been a bit run down, a bit stressed, a weakened immune system is going to let this thing in your body overgrow in a way that you don't want it to. If you've eaten too many carbohydrates in your diet, and that can be good carbohydrates as well as bad carbohydrates, doesn't just have to be bread, sweets, crisps, um, biscuits, cakes, what I would call processed bad carbohydrates, it can also be fruit, milk is also a carbohydrate, any kind of sugars, any carbohydrates are going to feed candida. So that's the second main cause of the overgrowth of candida. Third main cause is medication. If you've ever taken in any time in your past steroids, antibiotics, if you're on the pill at the moment, if you're female, if you've been on the pill for any period of time in the past, if you've taken any hormones, any hormone replacement therapy, you have increased your chances of candida getting out of control in your body. Number four is actually diabetes because candida is all um, prevalent when you've got too much sugar sloshing around in your body and unfortunately that's the state that diabetics have all of the time. So if you're diabetic, in and of itself, you've got more chance of having candida. And the final one is a nutritional deficiency. So if you're lacking in any of the B vitamins or any other nutritional deficiency, again, you've increased your chances of having candida. So what are the symptoms? How do you know if you've got candida? Some of the most classic symptoms are very visible. If you've got athlete's foot, dandruff, if you wake up in the morning and you've got a bit of a white coating in the mouth, you've got candida. Some more bizarre symptoms include bloating, particularly after eating anything wheat, any carbohydrates. If you feel worse on damp or foggy or miserable days, it's because the damp, the mould feeds candida. If you find yourself incredibly susceptible to carbohydrates, you find yourself craving them, you find yourself craving vinegary foods, pickled foods, the chances are you've got an overgrowth of candida. Candida is going to make you crave all the things that will sabotage your diet. Bread, cereals, cakes, biscuits, any processed carbohydrates, anything that's got wheat in it, anything that's a, a, a refined carbohydrate, it will make you crave pickled foods, it will make you crave blue cheese. It's really bizarre what candida will make you crave. But candida is a living organism, it's a yeast that's living inside of you and any living organism is going to do what it can to survive. And the way that candida, candida survives and thrives is on a weak immune system, carbohydrates, medication, anything that kills off your natural defense mechanism, candida is absolutely going to love that. So how do you get rid of this thing? Because until you get rid of this, you're gonna carry on craving those foods that are going to sabotage your diet. The first thing you've got to do is starve the candida. Phase one in the Harkin diet is the perfect diet to kill candida. Candida doesn't like what you're going to eat in phase one, which is meat, fish, eggs, vegetable salads, natural live yogurt, brown rice. That is not gonna help candida at all. That is how phase one came about. So you starve the candida so it cannot proliferate anymore and you actually get it back under control where it stops you craving all those bad foods. The second thing you're gonna do is attack the candida. This is war, this is some nasty little yeasty inside of you, ruining your good health intentions, making you feel absolutely lousy, and you're gonna attack it head on. You're gonna attack it with things like natural live yogurt, garlic, onions, the vitamins biotin, all of those are clearly explained in the Harkham diet so that you can get your body back feeling great. 
And the next thing you want to do is treat the causes. So you go back over those five things, whether it's the weakened immune system, the carbohydrates that you're eating, the medication that you're taking, whatever has been the thing that's caused you to have candida, you're going to address that head on to make sure that it doesn't return. There are questionnaires on candida, and in fact on all of the three medical conditions, on the Harkin Diet website, so do go in, they're absolutely free. Do the little check yourself and see just how many bizarre things that you've been feeling can directly be credited to this nasty little thing that's eating away at it inside you. This is war, you're going to take it on, you're going to beat it, you're going to be able to stick to a diet and you're going to be fantastically healthy, energetic and slim. Thank you very much for listening, look forward to seeing you in the next video clip.